Hi, I'm Derek Schuert from Flat Planet, outsourcing to the Philippines. So who am I? So there's me on the left at my heaviest and me on the right 12 months later after deciding I wanted to make a big change in my life, losing 35 kilos in those 12 months. I then started my own fitness business uh, while I was at university studying a Bachelor of Commerce and helped others make the transformation I had made, which was a great experience running my own small business. I thought when I finish uni, I'll get a great accounting job at a big firm and that will be my future for the next 20 or 30 years. That's me on the left with my mum celebrating the graduate accounting job I got. And six months later, I realised that wasn't for me, um, not what I wanted to do. So I chose to have an adventure abroad instead and packed up a bag after landing a job in Manila in the Philippines in the outsourcing industry. Um, and there's me in the middle around 2015 at Flat Planet over in Manila, where I spent half a decade living and working helping Australian uh, small and medium-sized businesses who wanted to uh, expand and access great talent in, in the Philippines, and me on the right giving a talk at a HR conference in Manila. So what is Flat Planet? Chris Moriarty, the founder and CEO, is in the middle. Um, a bunch of our staff pictured here from a couple of years ago, up to about 300 staff now across Philippines, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Here's a more recent shot of our staff, as you can tell from the masks and some other photos of our office, training room, break room, things like that in Manila. That's enough about me and enough about Flat Planet. I want to instead focus on the types of clients and the businesses that we help. I believe all businesses can be categorized into one of four growth stages. Um, and I use this framework to think about our clients. So in terms of revenue responsibility, this changes a lot at each stage. So the owner operator, they're responsible for generating all the revenue, getting all the customers and doing all the work. Uh, the next stage of business is the entrepreneurial salesperson where they still have full revenue responsibility, but they're no longer the ones doing all the work. They have a team who are doing that for them. The entrepreneurial CEO, that's where they start to reduce the amount of revenue responsibility they have. Um, they start to have BDMs, sales reps, marketing people who also generate revenue and they're able to be uh, a lot more strategic as a CEO. And then there's a separate team as well doing the actual service delivery or fulfillment. An investor, that's when they actually have a professional CEO under them. Then they have a revenue generating layer and then finally the product or service team under them. And they're almost more like a chairman of the board at that point. So starting with the owner operator, some of the challenges and quotes I hear from owner operators are on the right, but I want to start with some of the benefits. This is where everyone starts. Um, they might leave paid employment and go out on their own, self-employed, um, and, and they have a massive amount of freedom and independence. Um, often they can make a very good living, earning $100,000 to $500,000 a year, picking their own clients, um, but the challenges they run into are often that trade-off between getting work and doing work and it can be a bit of a hard seesaw to juggle and that's where they often come to us and they need um, even flexible five hours a week 10 hours a month of pay by the hour admin and marketing support especially and that's what we help a lot of businesses at that point with um, some that's to help them grow to the next stage others that's just to get their evenings and weekends back and stop doing it all themselves Entrepreneur, entrepreneurial salesperson is the first big leap forward and probably the hardest leap, I would say, of all the stages where you go from doing the work yourself to actually having a team in place. So you still have full revenue responsibility. You're generating all the deals. You're getting all the sales. You're servicing all the clients. But at this point, often people come to us and they might need a customer service rep. They might need a sales EA or just a general EA. They might need some back office support because they're growing and they're expanding. And that's where we recruit uh, one or more full-time staff for them often. Entrepreneurial CEO, some of the challenges there on the right, and that's another big leap forward where they don't have full revenue responsibility. They've got other people on the team generating revenue, which frees them up to be a lot more strategic, which isn't without its challenges. Um, but that's where often hiring multi-disciplinary uh, teams of different people and really building out a great support infrastructure because their IT systems, their processes might be a bit strained by then. Investors, often that's you know, a large multinational, we're doing very tactical, specific um, needs, maybe for one geography, maybe a shared service center for some of those people. So I want to just leave you all with a client success story, which really illustrates how we help businesses at all layers of the growth journey. So I had a client in about 2015, I was in Manila at Flat Planet at the time. They came to us referred by their accountant because they were two really switched on young co-founders, co-CEOs. I think they might've had a, um, 
an operations manager in Sydney with them. They were basically answering all their own support tickets, had an idea for a tech startup, things were going well. They were, you know, again, doing it all themselves. And they realized they needed a customer service rep. And they came to us to be able to hire someone. And from the time they first approached us to the time they had their first customer service rep sitting in a desk ready to start answering email tickets and calls was less than a month. And that's how it switched on. They were how ready to how ready to grow they were. Um, that became an entire team of customer service reps, as well as some other marketing support, which enabled them to really focus on sales. They made that leap being entrepreneurial salespeople um, and grew the business even more. It, they grew so well, they were able to actually really focus on being co-founders and co-CEOs and have sales reps under them, generating a lot of the revenue. They raised tens of millions of dollars in venture capital. They continued to grow so much so they now have 60 full-time staff with us, all the customer service, all their finance and accounting, huge amount of software development, Salesforce admin, um, general admin, marketing, all these roles and teams are all run through us. Um, and we'd love to even one day help them take them all the way to uh, exit with a public listing or an acquisition and get them all the way to that investor stage and have that fantastic six, eight, 10 year growth story of going all the way from being owner operators to being investors and helping them and evolving with them at every stage. Um, that's what we do. That's who we do it for. Thanks so much for listening to my talk.